and welcome to episode 185 of Nuggets Dungeon Terrain. In this episode, I'm building my first set of scatter terrain for my new sci-fi tiles. This one is inspired a little bit by Starship Troopers. It's a bug planet and this is the uh, biomass that is created by this huge mass of insects. Let's take a look. First the bases, they're going to be a variety of different layouts of XPS foam. I'm using some washers for the small pieces. But for this feature piece that I might use in my objective room, I have this bracket. The bracket's going to look like it's some kind of pit, but it's been filled up with all of these different eggs. I use this air drying clay on some of the other bases to give it some weight and some bulk. This small pine cone has lots of small round shapes to it, so I'm going to use those to make it look like, at this particular point, an insect or bug has laid a whole heap of eggs in one space. Maybe I'll add a slight creepy factor to it. All the bases are going to get the same treatment, which is to use lots of hot glue and to keep pushing in all of these different sizes of spherical beads. I'm going to use different sizes because in the law of this planet, the different bugs all lay their eggs together. Before the clay here was dry, which takes quite a long time, I pushed all of the different beads in. I then put the hot glue straight over the top without even waiting for it to dry. There were no adverse effects to this because the whole thing was sealed and encased inside the hot glue. Although I forgot to put the wax paper underneath, I was sure on each of the different sections of scatter terrain that I overlaid or allowed the hot glue to pour down over the sides so that you couldn't see any of the starting base underneath. I'm adding to this one and slightly embedding a skeleton. The way that the biology of these bugs works is that they amass all of their eggs in one place, cover it in toxic slime, and then uh, bodies of other species are piled on top. As the corpses dissolve, the nutrients go into the eggs. The first time around using this piece of terrain, I added a couple of small paper wasp nests. I also wanted to make a whole pile of egg tokens, so here's a couple of different size washers and some different size beads and putting glue over most of the area. I did leave some of the space on top and as you'll see in the painting pattern later, that's to make it clear that there's an egg there. All of the spaces that are going to get hit by the fluoro green colour, I painted white first. I haven't used a lot of fluoros before, so this required three coats. I'm not sure if that's normal or not. I didn't like the way that the paper wasp turned out, and it 
sort of broke the uniformity between the other pieces. So I pulled that out and then started filling up all of those spaces with some eggs as well. After three coats of the fluoro paint, I then hit everything with a fairly heavy dark green wash. I then, on the high points, used these cotton buds to rub off that wash just to make sure that those were easier to highlight. I then highlighted some points with that fluoro yellow and then covered everything with a glossy Mod Podge. So let's take a look at the finished pieces. Here's an unpopulated map tile layout and here's the same thing when the bugs have taken over. There you go. As always, the close-ups don't really give you an idea of what the players will see. They're not going to hold their eye that close. From a distance, this looks pretty good. I hope that you're enjoying this sci-fi series, especially because there's a fair few videos left still to make. And I'll catch you for the next one soon.